Citigroup, the nation's third largest bank, is back, apparently. After posting a 42 percent increase in profit last quarter, the bank is now in far better shape than it was back in 2008 when it required the first of three government bailouts and was removed from the Dow Jones Industrial Average. So what does Citigroup's latest quarterly result tell us and why does Citi matter so much to investors? Kayla Tausche explains. Citigroup isn't the nation's biggest bank these days, but it is the most widely owned by stockholding Americans. With today's earnings, shareholders got a 2% boost to their investment, and CEO Mike Corbett got a vote of confidence. Certainly some of the actions that were taken in the back half of last year, you know, are showing benefits today. When former CEO Vikram Pandit was ousted last October, Corbett took the reins, focusing squarely on making over the bank and executing on that plan. On his watch, City Holdings, the bad bank with all of City's toxic loans, has now dwindled to 7% of assets and, not counting legal costs, broke even for the first time. Completing the sale of brokerage Smith Barney pumped up the bank's capital, too. That capital level is already on track with regulators' rules years before it's required. And the bank is a stone's throw from other benchmarks it had set for 2015. Add to that the $1.2 billion in annual cost savings it laid out last year, and even critical analysts like CLSA's Mike Mayo say the bank may finally be on a path to consistent revenue growth. And if Citigroup can become boring, then I think the stock goes much higher. And the big issue at Citigroup for the last two decades is when they swing for the fences and they just need a lot of singles. As U.S. consumers keep shedding debt and balking at rising interest rates, there's continued concern that Citi could rely too heavily on the emerging markets for growth. About 42 percent of the revenue from the good bank, Citicorp, comes from emerging markets. But management today acknowledge some weakness there. The bank has high exposure to home builders in Mexico where bad loans ticked up in the quarter. Korea remains a weight on earnings, too, and CFO John Gersbach said problems there could continue for a year. Even so, Corbett said any fear of a slowdown, especially given recent data that show lower GDP growth in China, has not caused the bank to rethink its strategy. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Kayla Tausche.